the official story goes that hiding in a bunker and facing impending defeat, Hitler decided to end his own life and prevent his own capture. There is much evidence to support this, however, there is also evidence to support another theory, one that seems more and more plausible and potential the more evidence is uncovered. This is, of course, the theory of Hitler's escape from the collapsing German Third Reich and his plight to Argentina. Adolf Hitler's death on the 30th of April 1945 marks the culmination of his tumultuous and destructive reign as the leader of Nazi Germany during World War II. The circumstances surrounding his death are well documented and they have been the subject of extensive historical analysis. As Allied forces closed in on Berlin in April 1945, Hitler and his inner circle were trapped in the Führerbunker, an underground bunker beneath the Reich Chancellery in the heart of the city. Hitler's regime was in its death throes, with the Soviets just a few hundred metres away from the bunker. The situation was dire and it was clear that the end was near. The key events leading up to Hitler's death were as follows. Hitler, along with his partner, Eva Braun, members of his staff and some loyal followers took refuge in the bunker. They had been living underground for several months, cut off from the outside world. The atmosphere was one of despair and delusion. On the 29th of April 1945, Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun were married in a civil ceremony within the bunker. By official accounts, the next day, the 30th of April, they both died by suicide. Eva Braun ingested poison and Hitler shot himself in the head. Hitler's decision to end his life was not a surprise. He had made it clear to his inner circle that he would not be captured alive and had tested the cyanide capsules beforehand. The precise sequence of events is known primarily through the accounts of those in the bunker. Hitler is reported to have taken the cyanide capsule and then shot himself, ensuring his death. His body was burned in the garden above the bunker. The death of Hitler was initially kept secret by his remaining loyal associates. In the evening of the 1st of May 1945, Joseph Goebbels announced that Hitler had died and appointed Karl Dönitz as the new president of Germany. Dönitz would lead a government that lasted just a few days before the German surrender. Hitler's death marked the final chapter of the Battle of Berlin. On the 2nd of May, the city formally surrendered to the Soviets and the war in Europe came to an end on the 8th of May 1945. The unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany was signed in the Karlshorst area of Berlin on the 9th of May. It's important to note that the Soviet Red Army controlled the area around the Führer bunker and had discovered the burnt remains of Hitler and Eva Braun. The Soviet authorities conducted their own investigations to confirm the identities, but it wasn't until 1946 that they officially announced the discovery to the world. The circumstances of Hitler's death have been well documented through various sources, including the accounts of those who were in the bunker, the investigations conducted by the Allies and Soviets, and the records and memoirs of prominent figures of the time. The theories and rumours that suggested Hitler had escaped or survived did not gain widespread credibility due to the overwhelming evidence that he had indeed died in the Führer bunker. In the aftermath of the war, Hitler's death marked the end of the Nazi regime and its brutal ideology. The Nuremberg trials, held in 1945 and 1946, sought to bring prominent Nazi officials to justice for their roles in the war and the Holocaust. Hitler's death served as a symbolic conclusion to the atrocities committed by the Nazi regime, but it did not bring an end to the pursuit of justice for those responsible. Evidence At the end of 1945, Stalin ordered a second commission to investigate Hitler's death, in part to investigate rumours of his survival. On the 30th of May 1946, part of a skull was found, supposedly in the crater where Hitler's remains had been exhumed. It consists of part of the occipital bone and part of both parietal bones. The nearly complete left parietal bone has a bullet hole, apparently an exit wound. In 2009, on an episode of History's Mystery Quest, 
University of Connecticut archaeologist and bone specialist Nick Bellantoni examined the skull fragment, which Soviet officials had believed to be Hiller's. According to Bellantoni, the bone seemed very thin for a male, and the sutures where skull plates come together seem to correspond to someone under 40. A small piece detached from the skull was DNA tested, as was blood from Hitler's sofa. The skull was determined to be that of a woman, providing fodder for conspiracy theorists, while the blood was confirmed to belong to a male. Neither former Soviet nor Russian officials have claimed the skull was the main piece of evidence, instead citing jawbone fragments and two dental bridges found in May 1945. The items were shown to two associates of Hitler's personal dentist, Hugo Blaschka and his assistant, Kietha Heusermann, and long-time dental technician, Fritz Echtmann. They confirmed that the dental remains were Hitler's and Brown's, as did Blaschka in later statements. According to Ada Petrova and Peter Watson, Hugh Thomas disputed these dental remains in his 1995 book, but also speculated that Hitler probably died in the bunker after being strangled by his valet, Heinz Linger. They noted that even Dr. Thomas admits that there is no evidence to support this theory. Ian Kershaw wrote that the theories of Hugh Thomas, that Hitler was strangled by Linger, and that the female body burned, was not that of Ava Brown, who escaped from the bunker belonging Fairyland. In 2017, French forensic pathologist Philippe Chalier confirmed that teeth on one of the jawbone fragments were in perfect agreement with an X-ray taken of Hitler in 1944. This investigation of the teeth by the French team, the results of which were reported in the European Journal of Dental Medicine in May 2018, found that the dental remains were definitively Hitler's teeth. According to Charlier, there is no possible doubt. Our study proves that Hitler died in 1945. FBI documents declassified by the 1998 Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act, which began to be released online by the early 2010s, contain a number of alleged sightings of Hitler in Europe, South America and the United States, some of which assert that he changed his appearance by plastic surgery or by shaving off his toothbrush moustache. Although some notable individuals speculated that Hitler could have survived, including General of the Army Dwight T. Eisenhower, Lieutenant John F. Kennedy in mid-1945, the documents state that the alleged sightings of Hitler could not be verified. Richard J. Evans notes that the FBI was obliged to document such claims no matter how erroneous or deranged they were. While American historian Donald McHale states that their files did not produce any credible indication of Hitler's survival. In spite of the disinformation from Stalin's government, and eyewitness discrepancies, the consensus of historians is that Hitler killed himself on the 30th of April 1945. Alleged Escape The alleged escape of Adolf Hitler to Argentina in 1945 is one of the most persistent and controversial conspiracy theories related to World War II. While it lacks credible evidence, and is widely discredited by historians. The story continues to capture the public's imagination. It is essential to approach this theory with scepticism, as it is rooted more in myth than in verifiable facts. The story of Hitler's supposed escape to Argentina typically involves the following key elements. The theory suggests that, in the closing days of World War II, Hitler and several top-ranking Nazi officials fled Berlin and reached the coastal town of Flensburg. From there, they allegedly boarded a submarine that took them across the Atlantic to Argentina, where the Nazis were supported by future president Juan Perón, who, with his wife Evita, had been receiving money from the Nazis for some time. The exact location in Argentina where Hitler was said to have arrived varies in different versions of the theory. Some sources claim he settled in remote parts of Patagonia, while others argue for a secret Nazi enclave. Proponents of the theory argue that there is a significant German community in Argentina, many of whom were sympathetic to the Nazis. They suggest that this community may have helped Hitler and his associates settle into hiding. 
It is also alleged that Eva Brown supposedly left Hitler around 1954 and moved to Nequen with their daughter Ursula, while Hitler allegedly died in February 1962. Over the years, there have been numerous reported sightings of individuals resembling Hitler in Argentina and other South American countries. These supposed sightings often fuel speculation that he lived there in obscurity. Despite the extensive research and investigations conducted by historians, no concrete evidence has emerged to support the claim that Hitler survived and escaped to South America. In contrast, there is substantial evidence to indicate that Hitler died in the Führerbunker in Berlin, 1945. The majority of historians reject the theory of Hitler's escape to Argentina due to a lack of credible primary sources, conflicting eyewitness accounts and substantial evidence of his death in Berlin. Hitler's dental records, the testimonies of those who were present in the bunker at the time, and the discovery of his and Ava Brown's remains by the Soviet Red Army have led to a broad consensus that he did not survive the war. The conspiracy theory of Hitler's escape often relies on the myth that powerful Nazi sympathisers in Argentina, including influential individuals within the government, aided and protected him. Some versions of the theory even go as far as to claim that Hitler lived out his life in relative comfort. However, the historical record provides a more plausible narrative. The fall of Nazi Germany was marked by the suicide of Adolf Hitler and the unconditional surrender of German forces to the Allies. The post-war era was characterised by efforts to bring Nazi leaders to justice through the Nuremberg trials, and many senior Nazi officials faced imprisonment or execution. Possibility or wild speculation While conspiracy theories have suggested that Hitler might have successfully escaped Berlin and lived in hiding, the evidence presented is often flawed and of no real meaning in order to substantiate these claims. The mainstream consensus among historians is that Hitler's life ended in the bunker. In summary, the possibility of Adolf Hitler escaping to Argentina in 1945 remains speculative and largely unsupported by credible evidence. The most likely outcome at the end of World War II is that Hitler died by suicide in Berlin, as the Allied forces closed in on the Nazi capital. This marked the symbolic conclusion of the war in Europe and initiated a post-war era focused on bringing Nazi war criminals to justice and addressing the aftermath of the conflict. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give us a like and for more amazing tales and thrilling stories, don't forget to subscribe to Uncovered Secrets. Also, hit the bell icon to stay notified of every release.